Hey everybody! Welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in again today. So for today's video, it's going to be my February wrap-up. So these are the books that I've read for the month of February and I've only done three books this month. One is an Archie comic book but I don't have it here anymore. So I'll just talk about the three books that I have right now. The first book that I finished is Last Chance by Greg Hurwitz. And this is the sequel to The Reigns. I also did a book review of The Reigns, so please check that out. I'll link the video in the description box below. This is a continuation of the Rain brothers with their best friend Alexandra to save humanity from an alien invasion. So in the first book, anyone who turns into adults at the start of their 18th birthday will turn into a host that will pave the way for harvesters and hatchlings and all these other things that will overtake your body. This alien species will eventually invade Earth and overtake it. And humanity rests upon Chance and Patrick. Patrick has immunity to being infected. He doesn't transform. And somehow they, they are the only people on Earth who can save the human race. What, what do I like about this book? From start, middle to finish, it's just one huge action-packed cat and mouse chase. If you really like action and suspense, then you have to pick up a copy of this book. The book is written in a diary entry format by Chance. He is the main protagonist of this story. And what I really like about him is that he's a very likable character. There's very good and strong character development. You connect well with the character and you feel his pain, you feel his sadness and sorrow. You also feel his gladness and joy when he when it's described and written in the book. I really like it because he's very strong and courageous and he will do anything to protect the people he loves and to save planet Earth. What I really like about this book as well is the um his relationship with his older brother and it's so strong and very well written that they will go to the ends of the earth for each other. They will do anything at all costs to protect each other and they have each other's back. It also has a little bit of a love triangle with Alex who is Patrick's girlfriend but Chance also has feelings for her. Usually, I don't really like love triangles in YA novels. I just don't feel them. However, I am in this book, I feel like the love triangle story, the romance part didn't take away from the main area of the story, which is the alien invasion and saving Earth. So even though there's a little bit of um, love triangle here, it didn't get in the way of the story, which is great. There's a lot of sad um, scenes in this book as well, so you, you have to grab your tissues. There's a lot of sorrowful events that happened as well and sometimes I, I did get a little bit teary-eyed on some scenes that I can't reveal because it would just be spoilers or and I don't want to do that. But you really have to read throughout the rest of the book. I think it was really well written and if you watch the movie Fifth Wave, this book will really remind you a lot of that. There's so many similar plots in the movie as well with the whole alien invasion and if you watch that movie and if you like that then you will like this book as well. The bad points I found about this book is that I found the whole book to be a little bit too repetitive. So they would go high, they would fight off all these enemies, these humanoid creatures, they get lucky too often and then they hide again and then they run, they fight off. It's just one big cycle over and over again. So it did get a little bit too repetitive. Hurwitz wrote the characters very well, I think. And with character developments, you really like the heroes and you really hate the villains. So the villains in this book, you will really, really despise. I recommend this book for any sci-fi fan out there. I would give this a 4 stars out of 5. Go grab a copy. See for yourself. The next book that I've read is called Love, Life, and the List by Casey West. And this is a YA contemporary. And this is a story about Abby. She's a, an artist, she's a painter, and her dream is to showcase her artwork in the gallery. However, it got turned down because the art critic or her manager or boss mentioned that her work lacks experience and doesn't have enough heart. She goes on a quest to, to have a list and it includes learning a stranger story, trying something new, and falling in love in order to grow as a person and to give her inspiration for her artwork. She has strong feelings for Cooper, who's her best friend. Unfortunately, it's unrequited and Cooper doesn't feel the same way for her. 
yet. I like it because Abby is so likable and relatable. She's witty and sarcastic, just like all the main protagonists in Casey West's story. You can't help but feel drawn to her and relate to her. She's a very strong person inside and she goes for her dreams and gives it 100%. And I like that about her. The things that I don't like about this book is that there's not enough heart-fluttering moments. There's not enough romantic scenes that will take my breath away. And I was just wishing for the book to have more scenes like that, to have more romance and fluff. And the hard thing about this book sometimes is that since the romance is unrequited, Cooper doesn't return her feelings in the beginning. You kind of feel bad for Abby and you sympathize with her because she would find a way for Cooper and he would flirt with other girls, go go out with other girls in front of her and you can't help but feel that he's such an insensitive buffoon and you feel really bad for Abby. That's some of the, the things that I didn't like about this book but overall, it's a nice story. It did have romance but it only happened until the end without revealing too much. It has a really nice ending. If you love romantic books, if you like strong funny characters, as the main character, then you should pick up a copy of this book and check this out. Casey West writes really great YA contemporary and I just can't get enough of her writing and her books. I rave on and on about her. So if you're a Casey West fan, also check this book out. Oh, and I will give this book a 4 star out of 5. Just because of those um, annoying little things that I didn't like I mentioned before that would prevent it from getting a 5 star. The last book that I read for the month of February is called The Mortician's Daughter, One Foot in the Grave. And this is by C.C. Hunter. To be honest, at first, I didn't think I was gonna like this book. However, as the, the more I read on, the more I really, really got into the story and I really liked the character. This is the story of Riley and her father works as a mortician. And because of that, she's been labeled a freak and a weirdo by a lot of kids in her school. She just moved into a new town and she's starting school and she's finding it hard to make friends. Riley has a unique ability that she can see the dead. She can see ghosts and spirits and she can communicate with them. One of the main plots of this story is a murder. Um, she has to solve a murder that it was made to look like an accident. Through the spirit contacting her and helping her out, she's able to do some investigating and digging up on her own and she has to prove to the authorities and to everyone else that the restless spirit was murdered and it wasn't an accident. There was one specific suspenseful moment that I really held my breath because I didn't know if Riley was gonna make it out or not. It was really scary because these kind of crimes happen in real life as well and it was really really freaky. It also has some sort of love triangle in it. There's one ghost, Hayden, who's Riley's age and another one, Jacob, who's the popular guy at school and they showed interest in Riley. However, it gets very complicated because Hayden is dead and it's a very very weird and unnatural relationship to have with a ghost. While Jacob is a, a living boy, um, she's very hesitant to, to pursue a relationship with him because of her conflicting feelings with Hayden. So it does have also another love triangle but I feel like it didn't take away from the story. It didn't become annoying or too distracting from the main plot. What I like about this book as well is that it deals with real life issues. Riley deals with her father who could be an alcoholic. Her father deals with a lot of stress and pressure at work and with the moving and stuff. Riley's worried that he's drinking more and more than he should have. Riley doesn't have um, a mother. Her mother passed away years ago when she was young. So it also deals with single parent families. So if you're someone who's dealing with these issues, you can definitely relate with Riley. Riley is strong and she's confident in herself and she doesn't let anyone intimidate her, which are attributes that I like in the person and in the main character. She also sticks up to a new friend, Kelsey, who also kind of like an outcast of the school because she is a person of color and due to that, Kelsey feels like she's singled out or she's being mistreated a lot in school by the popular kids. So I like it because there's a great connection between the two and the friendship seems so genuine and real. The only thing that I didn't like about this book is that it's too short. I was left with wanting so much more. 
I wish the the story would go on for a lot longer. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to read the next book. This is a part of a sequel as well. So this is the first book and the next book is called Two Feet Under. So I can't wait to read it. Overall, I would give this a 5 star out of 5. I really like this book and I'm slowly getting into the paranormal genre in YA. And I thought it was a very well written paranormal book. The main character is nice and likable and it has a really strong plot I think. So if you like paranormal and you like kind of like solving mysteries as well, please take a copy of this book. I think you will really like it. That concludes my February wrap up video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you do and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!